This year during science, we're going to start the year by learning about soils, rocks, and landforms. If we were in school, we would be using our physical copies of this science textbook. But since we are not at school and we are at home doing distance learning, we are going to use this ebook version, which, is, which just means it's an online version of the book. Okay, so let's get started. Today we're going to read an article that starts on page three. So I'm going to go to my page finder down here and turn to page three. So take a look at this page. What do you notice? Right away, I noticed that the title of this article is called, What is Soil? Hmm, what is soil? What do you know about soil? Down here, it says soil is mostly made of rock in several sizes along with water and air. So soil is made of rock, water, and air. On this upper right-hand corner, I see a boy digging into soil. Hmm, I wonder what another name for soil is. Let's watch this video of digging. Doesn't it seem like soil looks like dirt? I think normally we might call it dirt, but scientists call it soil. You'll notice that in the soil, there's all different size particles. Some of them are very small and others are much larger. So I'm going to zoom in and we're going to listen as the book reads to us. What is soil? Have you ever dug a hole in the ground? What did you remove to make the hole? Soil. Sometimes people call it dirt, but a scientist calls the layer of diggable material that covers planet Earth soil. I'm just going to move it up. and we'll keep listening. What is soil? If you pick up a handful of soil and look at it closely, you might be able to see and feel what soil is made of. Soil is mostly made of several sizes of rock. You might see pebbles and smaller pieces of gravel. Soil usually contains sand. Particles of sand are really tiny rocks. Some pieces of rock are even smaller than grains of sand. Smaller pieces are called silt. The smallest pieces of rock are clay particles. Clay particles are too small to see, but you can feel them. Clay feels slippery when it is wet. Let's move up again and keep listening. So soil is a mixture of different sized rocks, pebbles, gravel, particles of sand, and even smaller particles of silt and clay along with water and air. Rocks, air, and water are earth materials. But there is more to soil than earth materials. Let's look at this rock size chart here on the bottom. These are the different particle names, and these are their average sizes. So pebbles are about this big, gravel, this big, sand, pretty small, silt, super tiny, and clay is actually invisible to the bare eye. So you might see clay all mushed together, but when it's individual parts, they're actually too small for us to see with our eyes. We'd have to use um, a science tool like a microscope in order to see it. Now let's turn to page four. I'm gonna zoom in and let's listen to it read before we look at the picture. Soil also contains organic material. Organic material is the remains of dead plants and animals. Plants send their roots into the soil and animals dig into the soil. When plants and animals die, their remains become part of the soil. Plants and animals decay into tiny pieces called humus. Humus provides nutrients for plants. Humus also helps the soil retain water. What is an animal that lives in soil? Worms. 
Worms are good for soil and help plants grow. Worms burrow through the soil. As they move, worms mix the soil and make passageways for air and water. Worm waste also adds nutrients that are good for soil and plants. So worms live in soil, but part of the reason they live in soil is not because of the rock, but because of the humus. And humus is tiny parts of plants and animals that have died, that have mixed into the soil or the dirt. Take a look at this picture of a worm in soil. Ooh, let's watch this video of a worm, or many worms in soil. So worms actually eat the soil and the stuff that they poop out is actually really good for the soil and makes it really rich. So I'm going to zoom out and move on to the next page. Page 5. Take a look at these two pictures of soil. They're both soil but they look so different. What do you think looks different or the same about these two types of soil? Let's listen to it read. Not all soils are alike. Some kinds of soil have more humus. Some soils have more clay. Some have more sand, pebbles, and gravel. Maybe when you get a chance, you can go outside and look at the soil that might be near your house. What kind does it look like? More like this or more like this? Let's take a quick quiz about the different sizes of rocks. So you'll notice that on the left side, there are different particle names. On the right side, there are their average sizes. So we're going to connect them. Hmm, let's see, I remember that the pebble is the biggest size. The clay is invisible to the bare eye. Hmm, I think gravel is a little bit smaller. Sand is pretty small. And the silt is tiny. Do you think I'm correct? I'm going to submit and see if I get all check marks. Woohoo! I did it correctly. What did you think about learning about different types of, um, about soil?